Welcome to Born's ET and Windows blog. Uh, today I'd like to introduce how to run Android ice cream sandwich on a MSE Wind U100 netbook. I have here an SD memory card with 4 GB. I have installed Android. Just try to boot the netbook. I have to press the F11 key to invoke the boot BIOS menu. Select my card. Then we should be able to install or to run Android from SD card. It takes a while until Android is detected and boots because the memory card is slower than a hard disk or an SSD. Okay, we are coming now and seeing the Android boot animation. Okay, here we are on the lock screen. Just try to unlock it. Okay. Let's try. I've already <coughs> set up um, Wi-Fi network and also access to Android market. Here are the buttons to invoke the ice cream sandwich desktop. Go backward and go to the widgets. Let's have a look into the app page. We have here several icons. I have already set up Android uh, for German settings on German language interface. Here yeah. network is running. Sound also as well. Let's have a look into my tablet settings. Okay, here we see it's Android 401. Date and time are set. Okay, let's go backward. Camera isn't working. Let's try it. Okay. Camera app is stalling. Market should run. Yeah, just have a to wait. Okay. Here is a German version of the Android market. We are able to install, download and install apps. Okay, let them download. There was an alternative app store. Hmm. Okay, browser. 
is running connected with my Google account One thing is, is worse, uh, we still have an English keyboard layout also I have set the language for the user interface to German but this is generally a problem in Android. Ok, here are we on my blog. I'll just go backward. Ok, here is the current lab. Ok, it works. What else can I demonstrate? Uh, I guess YouTube should not run because I haven't flash. No. Nothing at all. Here we can see that the GUI is blocked a bit. Okay, now we are back on the desktop. Gus, Gus Open Manager. Okay, it runs now. I have sometimes uh, some crashes and the app won't work. But I haven't, I haven't an SD card. It's a fake SD card. I've created during install the SD card image. Photos, movies and music are still empty. 